Hey, what's up, VC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel, and it's time for another video. Um, just jump into this one. I got a few albums to show. Um, this first one's an album that I've uh, wanted to get a copy of for years. Um, every time I see it, though, it's $50, $60, $70. Um, and the few times I've seen it in the wild, it hasn't been in the best condition. Um, I heard a few, maybe six months ago, that they were going to be repressing it. And unfortunately, it was initially reported that it would just be on... Uh, picture disc which uh, I really had no interest in I completely forgot about it till then and then I saw on uh, pledge music uh, that they were doing uh, a, a little crowdfunding deal where you could get the album a signed picture um, a couple of tour picks uh, and then a few other pieces of ephemera and uh, I, I went to pay for it it was like 50 bucks with all the stuff it was a signed a signed the sign picture, uh, the pics, a couple of posters, and then the album. Uh, and then when I went to, to, to close it out, they wanted $20 for shipping. Um, and that just kind of ended it for me. I deleted the purchase. And then uh, thought, you know, let me see on Amazon what it's going for. And, and I ended up ordering this three days before it came out. It actually got here on, um, oh, it's, I think the day after it was released, I got my copy in the mail. But this is uh, the deluxe edition of Anomaly from Ace Fraley. This is a great album. Um, I don't know why this one doesn't get more love. I've only seen one or two people ever show this. Um, so they redid it. There's a couple of extra songs here. Um, by the way, I got this on, on uh, Amazon for like 20 bucks, maybe $21. Um, Side D has three new songs, uh, Hard For Me. Uh, Pain in the Neck. It's a slower version of the album track. And then The Return of Space Bear. Um, honestly, I could live without all three of those tracks. Um, the guitar is great on them, but I know why they were left off the album. Um, great album, though. Especially the instrumentals on here. The instrumentals on here are absolutely phenomenal. But uh, really nice packaging. I don't know if you can see the how it's all kind of a matte. And then they've got gloss over the glasses. And over the uh, the title, so you got the inner sleeve there, or the uh, gatefold, and then it's on this really cool blue and translucent or clear and blue swirl vinyl. I don't know well how well that's getting picked up. Really nice though, and it sounds great. So uh, I was really stoked uh, to get this. And uh, a lot of times I'll buy albums and they'll sit for a while. A lot of times I'll sit for six, seven, eight months uh, before I get to them. But I just wanted to listen to that one so bad. I had about 15 albums that I had bought over the last few weeks that uh, that one uh, motivated me to pull out the old uh, spin clean and get it washed and uh, give it a spin. So highly recommend grabbing that if you haven't heard it. If you're an Ace Fraley fan, um, I'm sure you've heard it. But if you haven't, go out and grab it. Um, I think they're all limited pressings, just like uh, the originals were. Um, I haven't looked to see how many they're doing of the colors. But uh, again, definitely grab it. Now, this is another one. I loved this when it came out. Um, I actually still have the cassette. Uh, and I still listen to it from time to time. I've also got it on CD, and I'm really happy to finally have this on vinyl. This is uh, Beside Ourselves from Skid Row. Just a really great covers EP. And when I was in the store and saw this pop up, I couldn't grab it fast enough. But they cover uh, Psychotherapy from the Ramones, uh, Come On and Love Me from Kiss, uh, Delivering the Goods from uh, uh, Judas Priest. Uh, and I think that one uh, has Rob Halford on it too. That's a live track with Rob Halford in Phoenix. Uh, if you guys don't know, Rob Halford actually lives in Phoenix. He has for, I don't know, since 82, 83. Um, uh, the B-side is uh, What You're Doing from Rush and Little Wing from Jimi Hendrix. And they kill it. Um, one thing that always drives me nuts when bands do covers of Little Wing is they almost always do instrumental covers. Um, which I've Stevie Ray Vaughan started that and I've never been a fan of that. Lyrically, it's a great song. Um, so it's really cool that they do the full, the full song there instead of just the instrumental. But uh, this one, I think they only did a thousand of. 
or maybe it was 1500 of. So I would grab this while you can. Next up, this one I just bought as an upgrade copy. It actually, even though it looks better, sounds about the same as the copy I have, but uh, just an absolute classic. Deep purple made in Japan. Um, I got it for really cheap. I got it for like seven bucks and the vinyl looked to be near mint. This is a first US pressing, um, so that's kind of cool. I didn't have a US pressing of this. The pressing I have is German uh, and it's probably VG, maybe a little bit better. This one looks spotless, but it's, it's kind of noisy. I may do the, try out the glue trick uh, and uh, see how that does. Clean it up, see if we can get rid of some of that noise. But I mean, it's just an absolute classic album. If you've never heard this, uh, you're just missing out. That's one that everybody should have in their collection. I don't care what kind of music you're into. That's an amazing album. Next up. This one's a little bit of VCLT that I got from Scott Waters uh, a few months ago, and I've been spinning it quite a bit. Um, this one actually took two spins. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I wasn't feeling the, vocal, the singer's vocals for the first couple songs, and then it kicked in. Um, by about the third song, I started getting into it, and, and with each listen, I like this more and more, and I'll definitely be out for, uh, I believe the band has two other albums, but this is uh, Dawn of the Enforcer from After All, and, and it's just killer, killer thrash. I've heard people call these guys new wave of traditional thrash. They've been around since like 93 or 94, so they were around for the whole second wave there. Um, so I wouldn't fit them in, and the, look at that artwork. That artwork is killer. Great album though, definitely recommend grabbing that one. And then these last two are, it's actually hilarious. Um, so I pre-ordered one on either Pledge Music or Indiegogo um, maybe seven months ago. And then Wax Maniacs released the other one maybe five months later. And oddly enough, they both came in within a day of each other, uh, which is just funny as hell. Because uh, they were they came out, you know, more than a decade apart. But first up, we have Destruction Thrash Anthems. I love this album. Um, Destruction of the German thrash bands has always been the top of the heap for me. I think they've been the top of the heap sales-wise, too. Um, and I've always loved their EP and their first few albums. I really need to get those on vinyl. Um, so what they did with this, this is kind of like, um, they kind of followed in the footsteps of Testament. Testament did, did uh, First Strike Still Deadly uh, in the early 2000s. Um, and it's basically, they took some of their classic songs and redid them now that they're better musicians, now that their equipment is better, um, now that they, they know uh, how to work in the studio. And, and it, it's one of my favorite albums from Testament, which is saying a lot because I absolutely love everything that Testament's ever released, including Demonic and all the, the, the stuff in the 90s that people tend to, to uh, shy away from. But uh, they just murdered those. And, and, and although I still love those original songs, First Strike Still Deadly is what I listen to the most when I want to listen to the classic Testament. Destruction did the same thing. They took classic songs from their first three full lengths and their EP, um, redid them and they all sound absolutely phenomenal. Um, you got Bestial Invasion, uh, Mad Butcher, Release from Agony, Profanity, uh, Cracked Brain. Um, oh, these are all Tormentor, Death Trap, Curse of God. Uh, these are all killer songs. And uh, Wax Maniacs did a really killer job with the packaging on this. It just looks phenomenal. And, uh, they also did split colored vinyl, which looks amazing. I know a lot of you guys aren't into colored vinyl, but man, that's that's pretty fucking cool. And I love the clear, the crystal clear vinyl. Um, I, I think I've said that before. That's my favorite of the, I guess you can't even call it colored vinyl because it's clear, but of the uh, non-black vinyl, the crystal clear is my favorite. Um, if you haven't, if, if you're a fan of early destruction, and you haven't checked out Thrash Anthems, I highly recommend checking it out because they kill it. And then uh, the album that came in the next day, hang on, let me. The album that came in the next day was Thrash Anthems 2. 
and I highly recommend picking this one up too. And and so I didn't know what to expect when when I I saw that they were releasing this, and I, I definitely wanted to take part and support the band. And you know, you guys know I love autograph stuff, and it's uh, signed by the band. Um, but again, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I thought maybe they would pull stuff from their 90s albums and rewrite them, but they didn't. They stuck with the same formula, and they basically got all the songs that people complained were missing off the first thrash anthems and put them on here. Everything is off of their first three albums and their EP. So you've got Black Mass, which is a monster, uh, Black Death, uh, Ripping You Off Blind, Antichrist, um, United, uh, United by Hatred. Phenomenal songs, and they kill it on here. And then they, they finish it off with the cover of Holiday in Cambodia uh, from the Dead Kennedys, which is just absolutely killer. But uh, there's the artwork. And you can get the album. for The album's not super expensive. Um, I think you can get it on eBay for under 20 bucks. So, I, I, again, I highly recommend picking this up. I don't think you can get this version, though. This I think this was only for the campaign. And it's on this uh, red vinyl. So that's it for the vinyl. Um, just in the background, I don't know if you guys can even hear it. Um, a really underrated band. Um, and this is one of those bands I remember hearing a little bit in the early 90s. But uh, it was just about five or six years ago uh, when I really got into them. But this is uh, the self-titled album from Junkyard. And this was 89 or 90. 89. And they're a really cool mix. Uh, you know, they kind of get lumped in with the Britney Foxes and, and the other sleaze bands. And, and they do have some sleaze to their sound. But they've got a little bit of sleaze. They've got some glam. They've got some blues. Some really good blues guitar. Um, there's a couple, so actually the first song, or the second song, Hot Rod and Simple Man, Simple Man especially, almost has kind of like a southern rock, southern hard rock vibe, um, just a really killer album, um, another one that I would love to have on vinyl, but I've been just spinning that a lot lately, so, um, that's pretty much it, VC, I hope everybody's good, and, uh, I should be posting at least one more video before Christmas, so, uh, Keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, uh, take care and I'll see you soon.